Hey everyone, it's Andy with this week's Tips for Working Life. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about job interviewing and when the job interviewer opens up with, walk me through your resume. Now it is probably one of the dumbest ways for a job interviewer to open up the interview, but it is one of the best things that could possibly happen to you in any interview. And you might be puzzled, you might be wondering, I know there are a lot of, a lot of you out there, I get the emails, I get the comments on my YouTube channel and my blog, where you're wondering how to answer this. You say, ugh, I'm not sure where to start. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to share. I don't want to share the wrong things. But what you should be thinking is, yes, thank you, Mr. Unskilled Job Interviewer Person for lobbing me that sweet softball question that I can now take and totally control the interview and dazzle you with my professional highlight reel. So buckle up and prepare to be amazed. That's what should be going through your head because you now get to offer up whatever it is you want to share. And before we get into the here's how, I want to talk a little bit about the do's and the don'ts to get you, to get you positioned in the right spot before you walk them through. So the first thing I want you to do is, it's actually before the interview ever starts, day before, week before, whenever it is, I want you to look at your resume, I want you to look at the job description, and I want you to determine what areas or activities or accomplishments in your resume most closely align and best suit you to do that role effectively. I want you to think about those. And one tool that I have that you can grab is my Career Achievements Journal. It's got 14 great areas to investigate about any major project you do in your, in your professional career. It'll really give you questions to ask yourself and information to gather that will be wonderful to share, whether with your current employer or a prospective employer. So I want you to just kind of think through the resume and really think through how it aligns to what it is that they need in an employee. That's the first do. The second do, Make sure when you go into the job interview, you bring a copy of your resume. It's something a lot of people forget to do, but here's why you need it. Number one, you cannot be sure that the job interviewer is actually going to have a copy. And even if they do have a copy, it's highly likely that they have not read it. I know it's sad, but it's true. They're that lazy, which is why they asked you to walk them through it, because they want you to read it for them, to them. So you can... You can be pretty certain about that. So you want to make sure you've got a copy of your resume. You also want to make sure that before you start, you know what direction to speak in. So you want to make sure that you ask them the direction. There's basically three directions you can go through this exercise. You can start at the beginning of your professional life and you can walk them through your resume up to today. So you could ask them, do you want me to start at the beginning and bring you current? Or do you want me to start today and go in reverse chronological order and work backwards to the beginning of my professional career, or would you like me to cherry pick those areas that I think are most important for you to know to determine whether I'm a good fit for the job, the things that I think best prepare me for the role? Which way would you like me to go? Now, they'll probably want you to go from the beginning of time to today, but regardless of which direction, you'll know. Now, what I don't want you to do when you start is I don't want you to actually read them what's on the resume. Don't look at your resume and start reading. You'll be very dry. The other thing that will make you dry, the second don't that I don't want you to do, is I don't want you to just talk about the activities that you have on the resume. You'll lose them. You'll lose their attention. It's not that exciting that you were responsible for this or you did that. So, once you know what direction that you, they want you to go in, most of them are going to want you to go from the beginning of time till, till today. So start going through your resume, and here's what I want you to do. When you start at the beginning, now for many of you, I know that was 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago. The first thing you have to remember is that not all the information on your resume is created equal in helping you get that job. It's not all as relevant. So for those areas, and those are usually going to occur in the beginning of your career, they're not going to be as germane. I want you to walk through those very, very quickly. So if I was interviewing, somebody was interviewing me today for a practice leadership position, and they wanted me to talk about how when I got out of college, I was a, a software programmer and an engineer, I might say something like, well, you know, I graduated college with, with this degree. I started working as a programmer, and then I became a designer, and then I started managing projects that implemented software solutions. That took me 10 seconds to go through five years of my career because it's not very relevant, but they asked you to start there, so that's what you wanna do. You wanna, those areas that are not as important or as critical, you wanna go through them very quickly. Then, let's say you get to a spot in your career where you think this is really a home run accomplishment or a home run achievement, 
and this is your opportunity to shine. When you do that, you want to make sure that you are giving them context around what was happening in that project. What did you do? What was the business benefit? Who were you doing it for? Who were you doing it with? How much money did you save them? How much money did you generate them? Whatever it might be. So that career achievements journal that I mentioned that's in the notes that you can download has 14 areas or questions that you might want to answer for them in your story. It brings real context. So then give them some good color and then move on to the next one. Now you might be thinking, well, Andy, I could go on for an hour talking about my, myself, my resume. Good, go do that. You get to totally script exactly what it is that you want to say. Or you might be thinking, I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm running off at the mouth. I might bore them. There's ways for you after you hit each major area in your resume, just take a pause look over to the interviewer and just say is that is that enough there did you have any more questions about that did you want to discuss that any further how am i doing should i go on to the next point whatever you need to do to give yourself a quick break just do that but the fact of the matter is they've turned control of the interview over to you so you now get to blueprint the dialogue that occurs so you get to tell them what you want to tell them not what they want to ask you. So that's the wonderful, wonderful thing about getting asked that question early in the interview. So I hope that helps. Now I'm not going to recap all of this, but one thing that I do want to point and stress before signing off is make sure to grab that career achievements journal because that's going to give you a lot more context that you can put into your stories and make them a lot more colorful and powerful. And if you want to learn more about how to respond to their questions or how to tell stories in a job interview, check out my free interview called Three Keys to Ace Any Job Interview. It's free. It's also in the notes, but you really nail any interview, any kind of interview, if you check that out. So, Hope you enjoyed this information. If you did, give me a like, a comment, or a share. And if you're watching this anywhere other than my YouTube channel or my Tips for Work and Life blog, hop over to the blog. Got loads more on job interviewing, job searching, and much more. Till next week, have a great one.